Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewelry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little heart pendant. Just using wire today and I've put a list in the description below of everything you'll need to make this. Along with all the usual links, we've got Etsy and Instagram and Facebook. So we just want to take a minute just to tell you about my latest written tutorial that I've recently put in my shop. It's, it's made for beginners and um, a written tutorial is when you download a file and it gives you um, lots and lots of pages, there's 69 pages, there's over 180 images and it's all just follow along in your own time at your own pace and it's all about weaving so if you're a beginner and you'd like to give it a go it goes through to a few advanced patterns as well so once you've got your head around the basic stuff you can challenge yourself with the more advanced weaves if you want to and you can make practice pieces as i have here while you're learning or you can add them straight to your finished work so that's now currently in my etsy shop like i say it's an instant download and that's available at um, kellyjonesjewelry.com I am currently having a sale on my tutorials on there at the minute so if you fancy having a look go and check it out to make this pendant you'll need 0.8mm wire that's 20 gauge and I've cut three lengths at 14 inches that's 35.5 centimeters you'll need 0.315mm weaving wire that's 28 gauge I've cut 200 centimetres, I've wound mine onto a bobbin, if you don't have a bobbin you can just cut lengths as you go, or use one of these because it's much easier to use, you ain't got the wire flailing about everywhere, and you can go up or down a gauge on these, uh, these wire gauges, I use the 28 gauge which is a 0.3 because I find that not too thin and not too thick to work with. If you go smaller, it does tend to break a little bit as you're working if you're every handed like me. And if you go thicker, then it's harder to weave around the wires. So I find that one is the right thickness. Again, you can go up or down a gauge on these base wires, but I find this thickness is easier to work with. Today we're using a jump ring and I've remembered to mention it, just a little um, 10 millimetre. Yep, jump ring. I make my jump rings out of 1.5 millimeter wire, which is 14 gauge, just wrapping it around bail pliers. So you can make your own if you want to. I am in the UK, so I buy all my wire from Metal Clays for You and Scientific Wires UK. Tools, I've got pliers, round nose pliers, wire cutters. If you don't have these nylon pliers, and don't worry about it, I would just like to have these handy for straightening wires and flattening weaves. So don't worry if you don't have any of those. Today I'm going to be using bale pliers just to shape the little heart bit at the beginning. So you'll need bale pliers or you'll need something that kind of shape to just to shape the heart around for the beginning of the pendant. So take one of your base wires and roughly find the centre point. Take the small end of your bale pliers and we're just going to make a U shape in the wire. So I'm going to open up that shape a little bit and put in a larger one in that shape there. Not all the way down because I want to keep that original shape. What I'm doing is I'm making another loop next to that one. So I'm going to take the wire again around this little one. So we have this shape and I'm just going to reshape that first one back down. So you've got this shape. So take your pliers, just get my others out the way. And we're going to grip it sort of centrally. So I'm just a tiny bit higher than the center point. And we're going to bend it over like that. I'm going to be bending all my wires wrong, trying to show you so close up. 
So we've got this shape. It's kind of like the top of our heart shape. But we're just going to have to reshape it a little bit. I want to, where that middle fold is, I want to squeeze that carefully closed. And then you want to level up your wires. We've got this shape. Just checking on those top shapes again and slowly pull your wires together. So you're starting to get that heart shape form in there. Bent my top wire a little bit, so I'm just straightening it. So you roughly want this kind of heart shape like this. And we need it to be, need it to be about that size. So that's um, a couple of centimetres. So when you're happy with your shape, hold the heart firmly in your hands. And we're going to straighten out these bottom wires. So once you've got that shape and you're happy with it, now we're going to weave over these two wires. So take your weaving wire. And we're going to wrap three times around the bottom wire. And then three times around both wires, just trying to hold it. Three times around the both wires. And that's our repeat. Three wraps around the bottom wire, three wraps around both wires. So I've done 14 repeats of that weave. And I'm just going to cut the weaving wire from the beginning, flatten down any sharp bits. Now grab hold of the heart part and hold it tight because you don't want to misshape it. We're going to bend this weave over to the right at the base. And then holding the bottom of the weave, we're going to bend it around into a loop. Like that. And now I'm going to add more repeats to that weave there. So I've added more repeats there. And what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to bend that weave over, if you just do it a little bit at a time and then you can work the shape how you want it to be. I want the weave to meet the side of the heart there. So add as many repeats as you think, as you, as you need to get to that kind of position. And then we will cut that weaving wire. So what we're going to do now is, we're going to leave the bottom one for now. We're going to take the top wire. We're going to bend it through and around the heart. So I'm holding this weave here so I don't misshape it. And I'm pulling this wire around the heart. So it's secured on nice and firmly. So I'm going to cut that wire. Because 
So I'm going to bend it around and just secure it off onto that wire there. And then this bottom wire, I'm just going to loop around into a little curl. So I'll cut that off for now and I'll curl it in a bit. So that's what we have so far. So now take your other two wires and find the centre of those wires. We'll just start with one, I think and post it through the loop at the bottom. Find the centre. And we're going to secure this wire to that weave at the bottom. So take one of the wires and go around. So we're just wrapping it around the weave, sort of securing it to the weave. And I'm going to squeeze those wires into place there. You want to push them up to the base of the weave and straighten them with your, your nylon pliers if you have any. But we will add the other wire as well. In a bit we could just work this one, save having lots of wires in the way. I'm going to overlap them a little bit and then where they meet there I'm going to put a bend in the wires so that they sit next to each other and we'll now weave across those two wires So our new wire we've added, if we're looking at the front, our new wire we've added is coming out to the left. So we're going to turn it over and we're now going to start weaving across these two wires. So take your weaving wire and we'll start with it's the same weave as before. So we've got three wraps around that bottom wire. And then three wraps around both wires. And push it as far down those two wires as you can. And we'll repeat that. Weave three wraps around the bottom wire, three wraps around both wires. So I've done 14 repeats of that weave. Gonna cut that weaving wire off from the beginning. And I think we just need to curl this wire here out the way before we do any more. So take your round nose pliers and we're going to curl this wire here. So going back to this weave, 
holding this bottom loop and the base of the weave quite firmly, we're going to bend the weave around. I'm bending it at the bottom here. And I'm bending it around to follow that weave that we just did. My weave has started to twist a little bit, so I'm just straightening it out. So we've got that. So now I'm going to add a few more repeats to that weave. So I've added a few more repeats and now holding the bottom again in place, I'm going to bend this top weave over as we did before. I think I'm just going to add a few more repeats there. So I've added a few more repeats, so I've got quite a nice curve on this weave and it reaches along to that wire again, to the heart. So that's what I've got so far. So now I'm going to just continue to add coils to that bottom wire. So I'm going to cut my weaving wire, <clears throat> I'm going to leave a little bit, a little length on there in case I just want to add more coils and I'm going to attach it to the part with the weaving wire and we're going to take this bottom wire, we're going to bend it down and around into a loop and that loop is going to join onto the heart so we need to position the weave so that it reaches the the heart there so we can join that on there and this top one this top wire we're going to bend up like that so this wire now needs to join to the heart so i'm going to pop it through the heart and bring it up up there so it goes around the two and I'll do that another couple of times so I've gone around both wires three times and now I'm going to wrap just around that single wire and I'll go around that three times as well so when you're happy with that cut your weaving wire and we're just going to make these two into loops now. So we know what we're doing with this one. We can cut this one off and make that into a nice loop. But this one, this one could do with joining on the top there. So take a small piece of weaving wire and we'll join it with a bit of weaving wire, about six inches, it's 15 centimetres. And wrap around that single wire and I think we'd be better off joining it to that loop there mm, no we won't we'll keep it tidy because if we go around there it's going to get untidy we'll just go around the weave we'll strap it down to the weave so go around, come on, the single wire and then around the weave and then back around the single wire a few more times. The wire actually snapped off on the other side. That's because I kept on doing it and doing it so much. So that's, that's joined on there, I need to cut the 
other end of that wire too and then we can cut that one and that will be a nice loop on the top there which we'll do in a minute so now we're going to take the third wire and we're going to join if you turn it over where the last one joined we're going to join just below that so i'm just going to make a gap for now so we can get in there so pop your wire in that gap find roughly the central point and then bend your wire around and back through so we've attached the same way that we did before and pull the wire through nice and tight squeeze in place with your pliers and attach as we did before so as you tighten this wire i've just popped it through and gone around you want to pull it so it finishes on the other side so it's coming out this side if you've got nylon pliers you can straighten your wires if not you can just use your fingers So this weave now, we're going to do a weave that comes around and it just joins onto this side of the hop just to give it a bit of balance so we haven't got all the weaves on the one side. So take your weaving wire, same weave as before. We'll have three wraps around the bottom wire. Slide it right down. And then we'll have three wraps around both wires and we'll repeat that weave. We're not going to do as many weaves as we did before, we're going to do a lesser amount. Three wraps around the bottom wire, three wraps around both wires. So I've done um, 12 repeats of that weave. Need to cut that tail end off from the beginning. And then we're just going to bend this weave around as we did with the other ones and we're going to make it meet the heart on that side. So when you've got the weave the size you want it to be, cut that weaving wire. We're going to take this top wire, as we did before, we're going to bend it around the heart, holding on to the weave so we don't misshape the weave. And let it come to where you want it to be and then wrap it around the heart. I think these wires can be much shorter. I'll correct that at the beginning. So I'm going to take it all the way around again. And then bring the wire over to the front. I'm going to put a curl in that wire. So I'm going to curl this one down and this one up. So I can cut this wire and I can cut this wire. So all that's left to do now is curl those wires and add a jump ring. So we're going to curl this one this way, curl them both out at the top and in at the bottom. So there's all my wires curled. It's worth taking your time and getting your curls nice if you can. I don't, mine don't always end up like I want them to be. 
So now we just need to add the jumping. So I've added my jumping just to the top weave there. So it hangs at the right angle. And I just need to oxidize it now. If you want to oxidize yours, I'll put a link in the description below of a video I did on oxidizing a while ago. So there we have it, finished. Please mention me at Kelly Jones Design when you're sharing your work from, made from my tutorials. And please don't show the backs as it gives the design away. Thanks to everybody for joining me today. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks to everybody who has. I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.